Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we'll take a look at India's Chandrayaan-3 mission, which is preparing to land on the moon's far side. If you are new to our channel, please hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. In an effort to find a secure landing location on the hardly studied South Pole, India's space agency has released photographs of the moon's far side. The images were captured by Chandrayaan-3's lander Vikram, which started its final mission phase on Thursday. On August 23rd, the rover carrying Vikram spacecraft is scheduled to touch down. A day after the Russian Luna 25 spacecraft collided with the moon after spinning out of control, pictures have emerged. The craft, Russia's first lunar mission in almost 50 years, was supposed to be the first to touch down on the South Pole, but it malfunctioned as it entered its pre-landing orbit. The Chandrayaan-3 lander has started mapping the landing region and capturing pictures with its hazard detection and avoidance camera, according to information released on Monday morning by the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO. Chandrayaan-3 is scheduled to touch down on Wednesday at 18.04 India time, 12.34 GMT. ISRO noted that they will be helped in locating a safe landing area without boulders or deep trenches by the black and white photographs transmitted by this camera. The far side of the moon is the side that faces away from the Earth and is sometimes referred to as the dark side of the moon due to the lack of data that is currently available about it. According to scientists, landing there can be challenging. But this region of the moon, which scientists believe may contain frozen water and priceless elements, is of great interest. India's newest moon mission transmits its initial images, India's historic lunar mission successfully takes off. The lander module has successfully been lowered into a tighter orbit of the moon, of 25 by 134 kilometers, according to ISRO, and is now waiting for the lunar sunrise to land. India will be the first country to set foot on the lunar south pole, following the success of Chandrayaan-3. In addition, it will join the United States, the former Soviet Union, and China as the only four nations to accomplish a soft landing on the moon. Chandrayaan-3, the third lunar exploration mission in India's program, is anticipated to build on the accomplishments of its predecessors. It comes 15 years after the nation's first moon mission in 2008, which proved that the moon has an atmosphere during the day and found water molecules on its dry surface. The July 2019 launch of Chandrayaan-2, which also included an orbiter, a lander, and a rover, was only partially successful. Even now, its orbiter is still circling and studying the moon, but the lander's rover crashed upon touchdown since it was unable to make a soft landing. According to ISRO chief Sridhara Panikkar Somanath, the space agency carefully examined the data from its crash and conducted simulation exercises to address Chandrayaan-3's flaws. Chandrayaan-3 weighs 3,900 kilograms and costs 6.1 billion rupees, $75 million. The 26 kilograms rover Pragyan weighs approximately 150 kilograms with the lander module. Scientists believe that since the south pole of the moon is still mostly unexplored, and has a sizable surface area that is continuously under darkness, there may be water present there. Chandrayaan-3's search for water ice, which researchers believe could one day enable human habitation on the moon, is one of its primary objectives. Additionally, it might be used to refuel spaceships traveling to Mars and other far-off planets. We have shed some light on Chandrayaan-3 and its latest updates. We hope you found this information helpful. For future videos, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out. If you like this video, please take a moment to like, comment, share, and subscribe.